Hello everyone and welcome to another Daily Dose of Drupal. Today, we're on episode number 111. Today we're going to be going over how you can use a simple jQuery, or a few simple lines of jQuery, to make sure that someone knows when they're navigating away from a specific form in Drupal. Basically, it's just a simple way to ensure users are aware that if they leave the page, they may have things that are not saved. And there's many ways to do it, but I'm just going to show you a simple module that we can create that will do it and pop up the confirmation on a specific page on your Drupal site. And you can, of course, extend this module then to be used on multiple pages, or you can build an administrative interface for it, whatever you want. But we'll just go over the very basics on how to build this very simple module. Before we get started, as always, I am Shane Thomas. You can follow me on Twitter at SMTHOMAS3. SM Thomas 3. Go ahead and give me a follow if you're not already and check out CodeKarate.com. Sign up for the newsletter on the left and check out today's sponsor, Drupalize.me. If you haven't checked them out, please do so. They have some great resources for learning about Drupal. If you're new or if you've been around for a long time in the Drupal world, Drupalize.me can help. They have videos from the very basics to some of the very most advanced topics. I've used them in the past and had a lot of success, so go ahead and give them a chance and use coupon code CK20FEB to get 20% off your order. Alright, let's go ahead and get started. I have a test site here and basically what I want is when I add a, an article if I try to navigate away from the page I want to basically get a message that says hey you should probably either save it or you might lose something. So I come over here to an article page if I navigate away, if I click on this home link up here, I want it to let me know. And you can use this for, as an admin, you probably don't need it because you'll know that. But if you have web forms, maybe it's a really long web form, such as, you know, filling out a, a long contact form, or maybe even a better example would be, you know, some kind of request for service pr form where you have a lot of fields, maybe multiple sections and you want to make sure that someone isn't halfway through and clicks away accidentally without saving or without sending the actual web form. So we're going to go ahead and get started by creating a simple module. Inside my sites all modules directory I have created a js underscore confirm module. Here's my info file. It just says core7.x adds a simple description and gives it a name here. And we have a simple placeholder dot module file where we're going to add our simple about I don't know, five to ten lines of code is all very simple module here so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to use a Drupal hook called hook init and basically this loads on all non cached pages so since this is a form it's not going to be cached if you want it to run on cached pages, you'd probably have to use something else than hook init, but this will work for our purposes. So you can go ahead and copy this code here to get started. So I'm going to paste that in here. I'm going to add a comment on the top that says this implements hook init, which is just a common comment you should add at the top of your module. We replace hook with the name of our module. In this case, as you can see, it's js underscore confirm. I'm going to get rid of all of this. And I'm going to go ahead and save this and just make sure that the module will actually turn on. So we'll go ahead go come over to the modules page. Search for js confirm. Should be in this list somewhere. As you can see, it's right here. Go ahead and turn it on click save and everything should install correctly there's really since there's really no code in it as of yet so now it's on doesn't have a version or anything because it's just a really simple module you could of course add a version line to your info file so we'll come back to our module and we'll start writing our code we want to basically say we want, we want to use a Drupal function called current path 
And we want to check if the current path is, in this case, if you look at when we open this article up here, if it's node slash add slash article, then we want to run this JavaScript. We don't want it to run on every other page, only on that specific page. So we use a function called current path, and we say if the current path is equal to node slash add slash article, then we're going to do something. And what we're going to do is we're going to add some JavaScript. Drupal has a function called Drupal add JS, which allows you to add JavaScript to your page. You could use a separate file for this and just add this separate file. I'm actually going to just go ahead and use an example that you can get right here and add the JavaScript inline. So I can grab this as a starter. Let me accidentally click it. So let me grab it here. Because this will just add the JavaScript right in line to the HTML. We'll come down here and drop this in. So as you can see, basically it says, uses jQuery and says when it's ready. The example is to send an alert. We don't want to do that. We're actually going to add a couple other things here. We want it to say, we want to bind to the jQuery event before unload, which basically runs every time you are going to leave a page. So this before unload event is going to run. Let me fix my quotes here. So I'm going to bind to this event before unload, which means that it's going to run this function every time you're about to leave the page. And what I want it to do is I want it to return and say you are currently creating an article. Are you sure you want to leave? Something like that should do it. And essentially what this does is it reads when jQuery loads, or when your page is done loading, so when it's ready, when the DOM is ready, we're going to go ahead and bind to this before unload function, or this before unload event, and we're going to bind this specific function here. The before unload event simply runs before w you leave the page, so if you're going to click another link when you're on a page, this event's going to run, for example, and it says, it's going to return this little message here saying, you're creating an article, are you sure you want to leave? So that should start working. We're going to make sure we clear our cache on our site. You probably won't need to, but just it's a good rule of thumb. And I'm going to refresh this node add article page. Now, when I, I could start filling this out, and if I click away, you can see I now get this little JavaScript pop-up. It says you're currently creating an article. Of course, it just says what we put in that return statement. Are you sure you want to leave the page? You can select leave or you can select to stay on the page and finish out the article. So as you can see, it's extremely simple. If we take a look at how it renders this, inside the head of the HTML, there is going to be some JavaScript added right in here and you can see it just says the JavaScript that we wrote and it pops it in in right in line with the other JavaScript so you could put in another page this is showing in line and that's all there is to it you can go ahead and extend this to any other page you need just simply replace this with the page you need and it should work you can also as I said before maybe add an administrative interface make it a little more flexible a another thing you may want to consider is what happens when you're editing an article Currently, this isn't going to work. You're going to need another solution for that in order to run the same piece of code on that page as well. So go ahead and use those to learn even more about building Drupal modules. And this is just a simple example. So go ahead and try it out for yourself. Thanks for watching the Daily Dose of Drupal. And thanks to DrupalEyes.me for sponsoring this episode. See you next time.